I promised I don't harbour some weird secret love for visual novels. I know I keep reviewing them and I keep saying this, but I want to explain two things. One, visual novels are generally short affairs. There are exceptions, of course, but I can normally complete one in maybe one or two shortish sessions. So it's a lot easier to get my thoughts together, all bundled up in a short time, and ready for a video, if I feel it merits it. Compare that to a sprawling RPG, which might require hundreds of hours to get the full picture of how good it is. It just means it's a lot easier to do these. Secondly, I'm calling what I consider the cream of the crop. I know people's preferences are different, that's fine. But these are ones that have hooked me either in gameplay or synopsis or concept. Whenever I get some bundles, there are games in there that I don't know are necessarily visual novels, and I'll boot it up and I'll go, oh, this is a visual novel. And I'll look at the synopsis or give it a few minutes, and if it doesn't hook me, it doesn't get played through, and therefore I can't make a full opinion of it. It doesn't get a video or anything like that. So I don't play every visual novel that comes my way. I just tell you about the ones that I think are worth talking about. So without further ado, let's talk about Order a Pizza, a visual novel by Rocket Adrift. And this one was a unique premise hook for me. How do you convert the idea of ordering a pizza into a visual novel? This could either be a really silly, fun parody of the genre, or it could be something really deep hidden under a very throwaway, flimsy, fun title. And it's kind of both. It is very silly on the surface. There's a lot of humour with it, there's a lot of weird tropes that it kind of messes about with, but there's also a very emotional story underneath. I've been through a dissolved relationship as a child, and it's not fun. Now, there are various reasons that relationships do fall apart, whether it be simply you changed as a person and what attracted you to the other just isn't really there anymore, and it's all mutual and, and fine, or there was some horrible indiscretion uh, by one or more parties, and that's less fun to go through, I'm sure. But always in this, the, I guess, the casualties, the collateral damage, if you will, tend to be the children. And it's very important that the children in these relationships are nurtured and cared for, told they are loved, and also maybe told that this now means double the Christmas presents and birthday presents, because that's a, at least a positive for them to take away. But they do need to be reminded that it's not their fault, it's not something they've done. A lot of children feel that. And... That's kind of what this story is about. You play as a dad who maybe has shifted his attention. He now has a new girlfriend and he has an arrangement with his daughter to see her regularly. And there was one incident ages ago where he's meant to cook something, completely messed it up and it was like, okay, let's order pizza. So now that's become part of their ritual, I guess. And it's very important for developing minds and you know some neurodivergent people to have routines and things to be as normal as possible, especially in traumatic situations like this, or difficult situations, if, if not fully traumatic, I suppose. So when that's all messed about because you messed up the dates and got your girlfriend over, there's going to be tension. So this then is a game about reconciling those two worlds. But like I say, there is a lot of fun and silliness. The first run through, it's just like, oh, make sure you know what you need to know before you order the pizza. So it's like, okay, daughter says the usual. You can probably find hints of what that was. Oh, there's a picture of us eating pizza, right, it's that. Talk to the girlfriend, oh, she's allergic to something. Make sure I don't put that on. Order the pizza, ended up killing her because she's got celiac and forgot to tell me that. And I was like, okay, you've got me. You first loop round, you made me thought, oh, this is simple and easy, I've solved it. This was a quick five minutes. You hooked me. Later on, we get to talk to Jeremy, the god of pizza. If there was a god of pizza, he'd probably be called Jeremy, let's be, let's be honest here. But, like I say, that silliness doesn't take away from the emotional core. And in fact, it's through Jeremy's advice, whether this was a weird hallucination or whatever, but through Jeremy's advice, you know, saying you need to make sure both of these girls know that you care for them. You need to tell your daughter that having a girlfriend doesn't mean that your attention is no longer on her. You want to bring them together, you just messed it up and thought, well, I'll make the best of a bad situation. Let's all have a night together. Not realizing that her ritual of having these times with you and you alone is important for her. Likewise, the girlfriend feels really awkward because this was meant to be, you know, a weekend that you're together and she wasn't expecting to 
have to deal with meeting your daughter and the awkwardness around that. So it's reminding her that this doesn't detract from the fact I care about you. In fact, I care about you that much that I wanted these two worlds to come together because I guess selfishly, it's probably easier for him. But that's what this story is. It's about the difficulties of exiting a relationship, having baggage that you can't get away from. And I feel awful calling children from a divorce baggage, but it is, it is what it is. And trying to marry that with moving on with your life, it's very difficult. I know I said marry after the word divorce, totally accidental, let's not dwell on it. But I love this for that. And like I say, that's what a visual novel has to be to me, to hook me. It has to be something interesting and unique and different. And I've never played a game ever before, and I probably won't play one since, where I talk to a god of pizza. So if nothing else alone, it's given me that. But even though I've told you all of the story beats and the emotional core of it, I still recommend you play it yourself, at least to kind of have this experience of feeling like your world's getting turned upside down constantly. Because it isn't just a straight route to the end, of course it isn't. There's a lot of mind-bending moments which are just really fun to play through firsthand. So that's all I want to say about it. So until next time, as always, thank you for watching, take care, and eat pizza.